Now, uh, for brain studies, uh, cerebral spinal fluid is very important. Also, you need to study ion concentration in blood. Once you are able to use actors' PQR chips, non-invasive diuresis may become possible in the future. Reason is this. For spectral details, look at this FTIR spectrum uh, with different cases of a form length. Uh, uh, that FTIR uses interference length changes for the spectrum. Uh, for actors case, use multi-mode PQR chips with angle resolved coherence changes. Now those studies can be done to ears, eyes, nose, throat, anywhere possible. And also the signal can be improved with correlation function studies, especially time correlation functions uh, for blood flow mapping, hemodynamics, for pressure variation. Uh, conclusions. We have seen non-invasive diagnosis with multi-mode actors PQR chips. There is some need for improvement in this filter technique and the correlation function technique. Thank you.